Three on one, comes back into Libwelli. Libwelli looking to tee it up wide, and Baker Beveris, the big bird is cooking. Puts that one away, signed up for 24. Off the boards, good plays, it goes wide. Now it's turned over, Conley one on one. Anderson tees that one away, early chance. You cough up that puck in your own zone, and TJ Anderson, it starts with Conley, but again, bad, bad turnover. You can look at the work as it comes right through. Caps looking for that pass again. That pass a couple times to the Wildcats going cross ice. So down into the corner, comes across to Sarah's. They bury that puck. Turnover at the red line, and they walk it through, and they attack. You give up that goal, 23 seconds in the period. He breaks free. Switches it across to Prevost. He drives it wide. Got options. Nice pass. Not going to be a goal there. Bechtel's got to wave that one off. Interesting call right there. From my angle right here, that's going off his skate. Still comes away with the puck. Comes across the ice. Early chance for Shaw. Looking for that toe drag. He's too. Shaw still stands in that play. But big, big play from Luwelli. He's gone down injured. Shaw makes that play, stands tight in front of that net, but a big worry for the Wildcats right now. If you watch Lou Welly, see how this play breaks down. Because back at her front with Cooper. Cooper up onto the line. Back in the pool, guys. He's closed down. Back in the caps. Got Tamalin in front. Nice hands by Joe Tamalin. Don't be surprised if that play is a top, top, top junior player. Be Lasham gains the blue line across into Milton. Milton trying to drift it through again. As I mentioned earlier, Milton just creates chances. Easy chance here for Lasham in a slot. He goes top shelf. 10-17 in the period. Been reckless from the Wildcats in their own zone, but we talk to James. He sees Malazinski. He's already beat his defenseman. Drags it across into the middle of the ice, but Ethan James holds his position. Back across the slot, and they bury that one in the back play. You keep pushing, you keep pushing, the chances are going to come. Glenn Billings puts that one away, and you can see the play on the net. It's that pressure on the crease where you create their plays, and you watch Billings. They switch off there on the back side. Godfrey holds his blue line, still into the corner. Billings comes away with it. Got Plews creeping down low. Wallcast bury that play in front of that net. It's that number 72 that starts to play, but make no mistake about it. Tyler Plews right there, patient. He's done a lot this year. Recovery at the point as it goes wide. Wallcats are looking to slow things down. 118 on the clock. Good block on the way in. Back into Malazinski, tees it up. Hits the bar, it goes down. Hits the dot crossbar and goes back into the slot. But I said before, their power play, it's their trump card. When they need a goal, that's where they go to. And you can see this play break down. They want to go into the slot. When it comes back, they've got the trap. Comes back across to Lashram. Lashram goes wide over to Prevost. Plus takes his man. Good play from, from Plus. But Lashram goes wide. One-on-one -on -one makes that goal as he goes through. Stood up in the blue line and walked it through. We talked earlier, who's going to be the danger man for the Raiders? And it's going to be Lashram on that play. Comes wide. Now the danger man comes out on the ice for the Raiders. And Adam Lashram goes wide, one-on-one -on -one with Billings. Billings hard on him in the corner. Still comes back up to the point if they want to use him. Now it's two-on-one. Three-on-one comes back into Libwelli. Libwelli looking to tee it up wide. And Baker Beveris, the big bird is cooking. Puts that one away. Signed up for 24-25. But great play on that three-on-one. Libwelli, everybody in the ring thinks he's shooting that puck. But the big bird puts that one away. Swindon Wildcats six. The Raiders five. Big resilient win for the Raider, for the Wildcats tonight. Hasn't gone their way. They've played better. But again, it's that resilient element that Aaron now has in his lineup right now. Again, hope you've enjoyed the live stream.